I mentioned last time that the electric field vectors, electric field lines, are always perpendicular to the equipotential surfaces. And that's obvious why that has to be the case. Imagine that you are in, an, in space and that you move with a charge in your pocket perpendicular to electric field lines. So you purposely move only perpendicular to electric field lines. So that means that the force on you and the direction in which you move are always at 90 degree angles. So you'll only move perpendicular to the field lines. These are the field lines, you move like this. These are the field lines, you move like this. So you never do any work, because the dot product between dL and E is zero, and if you don't do any work, the potential remains the same. That's the definition. And so you can see that, therefore, equipotential services must always be perpendicular to field lines, and field lines must always be perpendicular to the equipotentials. And I will show you again the, the view graph, the overhead projection of uh, the nice drawing by Maxwell, with the plus four charge and the minus one charge, the same one we saw last time, only to point out again this 90 degree angle. I discussed this in great detail last lecture, so I will not do that. R the red lines are really surfaces. This is three dimensional. You have to rotate the whole thing about the vertical. So these are surfaces. And the red ones are positive potential surfaces, and the blue ones are negative potential surfaces. That is not important, but the green lines are field lines. And notice, if I take, for instance, this field line, it's perpendicular here to the red, perpendicular there, perpendicular there, perpendicular there, perpendicular here, perpendicular here, coming in here, perpendicular, perpendicular, perpendicular. Everywhere where you look on this graph, you will see that the field lines are perpendicular to the equipotentials. And that is something that we now fully understand. The situation means then that if you release a charge at zero speed, that it would always start to move perpendicular to an equipotential surface, because it always starts to move in the direction of a field line, a plus charge in the direction of the field line, minus charge in the opposite direction. So if you're in space, and you release a charge at zero speed, it always takes off perpendicular to equipotentials. You have something similar with gravity. If you look at maps of mountaineers, contours of equal altitude, equal height, if you started skiing, and you started at that point, and you started with zero speed, you would always take off perpendicular to the equipotentials. So this is the direction in which you start to move if you start off with zero speed.